Now I'm going to think about that. Hi, everybody. It's Sadie and Sean. <laughs> Have no friends. Uh, brought to you by our amazing sponsors at Christiana Salon and Spa. Mention uh, our name and get 10% off. They're located in Johnstown. Sean and I were talking about something that I would like to carry over into. No. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> okay. Can we talk about something else like my eyes watering again? I, oh, is that back? It's Yeah, so I... It, I have allergies and I don't know what I'm allergic to, but I thought I got rid of it because my, my mom told me about some sort of allergy pill just over the counters or tech or yeah, like an Allegra like or yeah. yeah. And I, I had tried some of these before and they never helped with my watery eyes. Like it'll help with sneezing and stuff, but my eyes still itch and water. And so she told me, get this one. So I got it. And for like a month, it was perfect. I was like, I found the cure. I'm good. And all of a sudden within the last week or so, my eyes just water like a mofo and it causes my confidence. What's that? Do people ask, like, are you Yes, crying? all the time. You do, and then that's awkward. Jason Aldean the other night. I walk up to him, and he's like, dude. And I know Jason a little bit. Like, not, we're not like oh, old buddies, but oh, uh, enough that hot. he knows. That's hot. Uh, <laughs> enough, enough that he knows who I am. That's and that's so that's I walk that's up, that's and he's like, what's up, Sean? It's been a while. It's good to see you. And he's like, you all right? Looks like you're crying. Uh, so then I have to, my conversations all go down the same route. Like, no, I've got allergies. I, I'm not crying. I just cry all the time. And it, it's annoying. And it You're causes my, crying. you just cry all the time. Okay. Yeah. But it causes my confidence to be a little messed up because my mama taught me that when I'm talking to somebody, I look them in the eye and I Do find that. myself like wandering off because I don't want to look them in the eye because I'm crying. But I'm not crying. Oh, that is such a funny story. And not. I'm sorry that you, well, I think it's funny. <laughs> but I love um I love that Jason Aline called you out and was like, What are you crying, Sean? You should have been like, Hell yeah, I'm crying. I love you. So Something excited like to see you. Uh <laughs> my experience with Jason Aldean, I won't go on and on about it, but Cheyenne Frontier Days, I went up there and, and had a little interview scheduled with him. And so we were talking about my eyes, but then it transitioned into I was wearing a Travis Tritt shirt because I like wearing the like face t shirt yeah, to like the artist. Stuff. Uh, yeah, but mine aren't vintage. Mine are just not Amazon knockoffs. And I'm always afraid to tell the artist because they make money on merch and like there's lots of licensing oh, fees right. and things like that. And so yeah. I never want to tell. I'm always like, yeah, I got it straight from Travis Tritt's website. Bullshit. I got it from Amazon for $5. <laughs> Some dude made it in his garage. But the reason I bring that up is because he asked me about my shirt and he always wears those kind of shirts too. And so I was like, yeah, dude, where do you get all your shirts? Because I like them too. And so I want to get more. And he's like, you can't say this like, publicly, man, stop but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, honestly, Amazon. I go on there and I buy the knockoffs. And I was like, yes, uh, thank you. Thank you for you doing that. that. Did you thank say you for also not supporting artists and their dreams to be rich because I don't either. And mine are, and I can't tell anybody. And we just hit it off on our knockoff $4 Amazon face shirts. And it was, it was a really good connection that we had there for a minute. And then I told him I wanted to play a silly radio game. And he was like, really? I thought you were different, bud. I thought you were different. Do I still have this? No, I don't have any sound effects. Because I'm going to be adding in later, if you're watching on video on the YouTube channel, I will be adding the that's hot in. Because good God, we're 354 in and you name dropping Jason Ali. But can I say, can I bring myself back to reality and tell you that the next night, so... Jason Aldean played on on a Saturday night at Cheyenne Frontier Days, and I got the access, and I got to do all the cool shit. But then Sunday, Jelly Roll played. This and show's now, gonna be full of that's hot. No, it's <laughs> not. This is the opposite. I'm telling you, I'm coming back to reality. So uh, Jelly Roll and I, we go further back than Jason and I. Like I feel like Jelly Roll and I are like actual kind of buddies. Straight up denied, bud. You you don't get any access. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> I don't know what I did to old Jelly Roll, but I'm like, dude, I'm at your show. You don't even want to just say hi to your old buddy, Sean, that's been supporting your music for these few years. And nope, Jelly Roll, he's too busy for you. You don't have what time. What if he had diarrhea? Doctor. Jelly Roll doesn't seem like the type that would stiff a friend. Maybe he doesn't He didn't feel stiff good. me, just straight up said no. 
So did you text him and say, hey, Jelly Roll, it's me, Sean? Did <laughs> Like, you seem to be on a first name basis. So hi, Jelly. What what are you doing? Can I come hang out with you? And I he, call him just, Mr. Roll. He ghost you? Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Me calling him Mr. Roll. Maybe I should call him Jelly instead of Mr. Roll. And he would respond to my text. No, you're like I, jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Everything goes through the record companies. And some people don't understand. They're like, you have Jelly Roll's phone number. You should just text them directly. They get mad because these guys are famous. And so they get a lot of requests and a lot of people like a wanting radio stuff. So, DJ in every yeah. city to know well, how not to get just that, but friends and family and everybody too. There's lots of people that want something from them. So I get it. Like it all has to funnel through a, a certain person because you can't just go text. Everybody can't text Jelly Roll and ask him for shit. And so I, I text my guy. I called my guy and he was just like, I, I just don't know. Jelly doesn't want to see you. The other problem Stop. is Jelly, Jelly Jelly flies private because he's a big gentleman. And so he's pretty recognizable. One, you can't just put him on a Southwest flight. And two, yeah. I don't know that he yeah. would fit in one of the chairs on the planes on United these days. And so he flies private. And a lot of these one-off shows, he just flies he right just in like in Cheyenne, on. the airport's across the street from the fairgrounds. He like flies in, he gets off the plane, gets on a black SUV, drops him off on the stage. He performs for 90 minutes, black SUV back to the plane. And he's in Nashville in bed before a lot of those people that were at the show got out of the parking lot last night. And so, yeah. And so you can't take it too Sean. personally. I mean, no. I'm sure jelly meant to reach out to you because you're his favorite dj in all oh, sure. the america yeah. and uh he just he was busy um so anyway it's not always glamorous i don't always if i'm gonna tell you about my cool experiences with jason aldean i gotta be honest and be like hey i i didn't get stiffed by jelly because he never told me he was gonna hang out but i'd assume that he would want to and he didn't he didn't i got I got stiffed. I was, I was there. So wait, so, so next time he, you're, you're going to have like a run in with him. Will you reach out again and be like, Hey jelly. <laughs> or no. will you be like, no, I'm done. He clearly next time he needs a favor from me next time. They're like, Hey, oh, you need that song to play a couple more times. I'll be like, well, shit. I don't know that I can get off my private jet in time today to get those songs in for you. I'm sorry. It's I'm you, busy. You know what? You make me out to be a monster, but you are just as, Spiteful little bitch. And I love it. I think it's hilarious. Are we ready to move on from your super glamorous weekend? Well, one more thing. Okay. It, this isn't glamorous either. This is why you don't ever want to have a band. I don't I, I I'm oh, looking yeah. at myself. I don't look too tired, I guess, but I'm a I'm a 10 hour guy. I need 10 hours of sleep minimum, and I can sleep for 12 if you let me, but 10. If I don't get to 10, it's bad news. And so we played, the band played in Cheyenne, same night as Jelly Roll, so a Sunday night, and yeah. it, but it's at the bar. Cheyenne only has one like big country bar, and so there's a big after party there every single night, including Sundays, because lots of touristy people, people that don't have to work on Monday. I and do yeah. have to work on Monday. We're recording this on Monday, and so we don't play until Jelly Roll gets done playing on the I main I was going to say, that's like an insanely late after party. He gets done at 1045. So we got to play at 11. We play for two hours. So if my math is correct, we're done at one. It takes us a little while to get undone. And I also live three hours away from Cheyenne. So. So were you rolling into your house when the sun was coming up? Pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. And here we are. This is in real time recording this. It, I went to bed seven hours ago. Oh, damn. And I've already had a half day of work. And so I'm wow. tired. Look that, at you. You don't look tired. You look great. Maybe it's that you got the filter on max. <laughs> <laughs> I did turn it up a notch today. The bags, the I bags can tell under you the look eyes. Extra beautiful today. The bags under the eyes were, were in their full glory. Okay. So I wanted to ask your opinion on something. Mm -hmm. um, do you think it would be too <laughs> This is where I'm selfish. I go to um, I'll see all the kid movies. If a kid movie comes out, I got to go. It's just, I go. And sometimes I'll wear like an earbud and I'll listen to like forensic files on YouTube or something. Hey, that's and the weirdest shit I've ever heard of. No, because I'm not paying attention to the movie if it's a kid movie. But um, because all the kid movies are the fucking same. And especially ones where they sing. Can I tell you nothing annoys me more 
And there are some Disney movies where they don't break out in song. But uh, I hate singing. I hate it. I <laughs> I've gone to I asked Ryan one year for Christmas. I said, oh, my gosh, Wicked is coming to the Buell in Denver and I'd like to go. And so he got tickets to go. I swear to God, when it hit like intermission, I was like, well, that was weird, but let's go. I mean, it didn't really answer any questions about what was going on, but, but I kept telling Ryan, I'd lean over to him and go, why are they singing another song? You're, you're, you're sad or you're feeling in love. And then we got to sing a five minute fucking song about it. Or you know what's say, even worse? You know what? I'm in love with you. And I'll be like, look at that. That was in 10 seconds. She did that. I tried to watch Hamilton, which is like the most popular musical out there. And they rap. And I have trouble hearing, and my brain is a little bit slower than some folks. And I'm like, dude, I, I'm i so fucking lost, I cannot continue. And it's the most popular thing out there. There's people that are probably stupider than me that are going to this. How are they understanding? <laughs> okay, so you know what makes me laugh? I actually watched Hamilton to learn about Hamilton, because I know nothing of these people. And I'm you like... Understand? No, I didn't. <laughs> Again, here's the deal. I get that they're rapping. And that's where I thought maybe it would help me further my knowledge, which is very minuscule uh, about the presidents. But yeah, it was it was their rapid and the rap fighting. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Who's rap fighting who? And why are you mad at this person? And I thought it would be kind of like a like a president for idiots, you know, no, kind of show. But it's no, it's opposite. I know. And I. I don't like it. So anyway, we went to Wicked and yeah, I, I was, I just, I wanted to go home and it was, was so that this late. weekend. No, this was a while ago, but it was so late. And I just remember thinking, oh my God, why are we doing an intermission? Just push through this bitch because I want to go home. And then, and then at the end, everybody's leaving and they're like, oh, there's some people crying. This is their dream. And I'm like, where do we park? Can you pull the car up because uh, my feet hurt? It's just like I'm a miserable human being. Why are you telling us shit we already know? <laughs> I like to uh, put it out there so you remember. Where were you going with this? Anyway, here's where I'm going with it. You were saying something about an earbud at the Disney movie and then it got to Wicked. I'm confused. What are we talking okay, about? Okay, so let's reverse a little because I do tend to go off track sometimes. But um, I always go to the kid movies and Murphy's seven now. She's seven. And to me, I feel like I you could be I feel like my sister's babysat at the age of seven. Like, I don't know. I feel like you're pretty mature by seven. So this weekend we're like, let's go to the movies. <laughs> and I said, let's go to that new Twisters movie. Yeah. And Ryan said, I she's too young. And I'm like, are you? Are you shitting me? My parents took me to see Outbreak when I was her age, and it did haunt me. And I am a hypochondriac and terribly afraid of for monkeys. But I, I survived. I, I think I saw the original Twister when I was about seven. Yeah, and so I'm like, oh, God. and she'll like it. I, the only reason why we didn't do it was because oh, did it. we didn't do it because he was like, I just. I'm afraid it's going to scar her. And I'm like, first of all, we need to depussify children today. Because like I said, I was going to mob movies and all that shit when I, because I, and I, I was number four, the youngest. And so I had to kind of fit into my parents' life. And if they, they weren't going to a Disney movie, no, they were going to go see the sex scene. Uh, oh God, the disease stuff. I mean, the mob stuff. I, I, I've seen a lot of that stuff. So I kind of think that was a puss move. I kind of think we should take her. You think we should take her? Well, I was really hoping that you did because the older two kids, our older two kids want to go see the Twister movie and we can't just leave the five-year-old behind. So I'm assuming by default, he's going to go as well. And so it would make me feel like a less shit parent if you also did it. Because I mean, have you, I think everyone has gone to a movie at one time or another and there's someone there with like an inappropriately young child with them. Um, I remember what, I don't even, there was a scary movie that came out like really scary 
and I took my niece. I was babysitting. This was before I had children. So I'm like, don't tell your mom I'm taking you to see Freddy <laughs> Krueger or something. And uh, but I remember the looks I got of like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm, I was like, it's not my kid. And so but I don't know. I don't I think Twister is like a fun movie again. the OK, I'll tell you the only reason why we didn't end up going and taking her was because it's a lot of like we watched the preview with her. It's a lot of science jargon and build up. And I think oh. kids these days, they need they need. Have you ever tried to watch a Transformers movie? They transform and roll around so fast. And it is a car. And I am yeah. like, I can't keep up with what's action, going action, on. Action. It has action, to be action, bombs, action. bombs, action. And of course, this movie does look very action packed. Uh, but uh, I think that she would get bored. Like, she just wouldn't be into it. And then, you know what happened? We'd have to get out of our fucking chair. <laughs> and you know we all have to walk out. And I have to say, well, I'll see you when you're on demand. And, you know, we've done that on so many occasions. When Boone gets bored at a movie, he's got to pee four times. Because he doesn't want to sit, so he wants to get up. And his only excuse to get up is, I have to pee. I'm going to yeah. pee my pants. You don't take me to the bathroom. I'm going to pee right here, Dad. And then I miss half the movie anyway. And so, yeah, you make a good point. Maybe I won't take him. So that's the thing. I think you should get a babysitter. And Ryan and I were like, I guess we'll get a babysitter and we'll go on our own to see this. It's also play going to be playing at the drive-in, I think. And to me, that is like epically cool. That is so cool because remember in Twister number one, how there were people were at the drive thru and they were watching The Shining. And then, oh my God. And they, uh, like the tornado was in the background. That is some good quality cinema shit. But I thought, is it too much? Am I going to walk into a room full of adults and they're going to be like, oh my God? Because sometimes I read that stuff wrong. Not in, I don't think the Twister movie is that case. You don't think so? No, I think I don't even think it's rated R. I think that's the cutoff. Like to me, rated R, if the movie's rated R, then kids like I'd say like under 13 shouldn't yeah. probably go. Okay. But so PG PG 13. Eh, bring them. Yeah, I think I'm going to well, maybe we will. I guess I'll let you know. How does Boone usually do when you take him to a movie? Well, I think, I don't even know. I can't remember a time where we took him to like a movie that wasn't for him. I know. And I just but, feel uh, like I'm ready yeah, to transition where now she's going to actually see some movies that I enjoy. Right. About yeah, Tornado seven's probably seven. about the right age. I think <laughs> well, you got to give it a shot. I think Twister is a good one to do it. I, it probably wouldn't be for me because here's the thing. Shannon lived through a tornado she she has a bunch of family in Arkansas and has lived in Arkansas and yeah. Arkansas is a hotbed for tornadoes. She lived yeah. through a tornado, a bad one that like took out a whole city and she's deathly afraid of any sort of thunderstorms now because of it. And as a result, Boone, who's a just natural born chicken, like the biggest chicken kid I've ever met. He's a wuss wuss. He is also very terrified of storms. And so it's probably a bad movie for me, but Leave them both at home if you yeah, you know if she's <laughs> well I, you know what when 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 Ryan was young I'd say like six his dad showed him the movie Jaws and literally any bed of water he is terrified to this day to this day we have a boat and he's never gotten off the boat. <laughs> He, there's no he, sharks in the lake. No, I tell him that. I'm like, there's no sharks in here. It's a lake. And he's like, I don't even, he doesn't like the idea of not being able to see what's beneath him. And I grew up where my dad, when we'd go tubing, he would do the Jaws theme while we were out waiting to be pulled in. <laughs> and I mean, like, I, so, but he's scared that it's going to be like that, where it's going to scar him. And I said, well, Okay. It could. And we do live in an area where tornadoes happen. Shit. So do you want do you want Murphy sleeping in your bed every night that there's lightning? Because that could be the result. Yeah, that's true. I don't really want that to happen. <laughs> Doesn't she sleep in your bed every night anyway? <laughs> yeah, she kind of does All already. Right. Well, she then kinda, screw it. I just quit fighting it. The other night, though, she woke me up at two in the morning out of a dead sleep and she's like 
can you hand me the water on the nightstand? And I'm like, why don't you get up and get your own fucking water? Because I was in like REM sleep and you just woke me up. And so, yeah, we're kind of dealing with that. And, you know, she's way too old for this. I know it's awful, but I don't know. I kind of like it because now that the older two are kind of doing their thing and they don't need me as much anymore, I feel like I hang on to her a little more tightly than the other two. I get that. I'm the same way with Boone, especially knowing like it's the last time you're going to get any of this. But there's one line that I draw and that line is him sleeping in our bed and Shannon gets kind of mad at me about it because he's five. And so he still has those nights where he gets scared and he'll come in and he's like, mommy, I'm scared. Daddy, I'm scared. And Shannon's like, just invite him into the bed. We have a king size bed. He'll fit. He's wiggly and he's hot. And he's no. So the line the line for me is that if, if he's scared, I don't make him stay in his bed and be freaked out. He can sleep on the floor. So he brings his little sleeping bag and his pillow and he sleeps on the floor next to the bed. But I need sleep too. <laughs> Sean needs 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's, it's Some people will say, no, you don't. You've got yourself trained. I, dude, I'm telling you, I can't function if I don't. I love I can for one day. Like today, I'm on two hours, two and a half, three hours of sleep. I can function for today, but if I did it again tonight, tomorrow, I'd be, I, I j- just don't even use me because I'm done. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Right. Well, oh, hey, guess- where, what's your favorite fast food? Oh, God. I Is love it Burger McDonald's. King still. Oh, Burger King. I love it. It has a flame broil taste. <laughs> Thank you for that. Why? You know, Why? Taste burnt. Well, this is kind of groundbreaking shit because every year USA Today puts out like a study and they figure out America's favorite fast food based on a number of metrics like satisfaction and they get the order right and it's fast and they treat you nice. I wouldn't say that about Burger King. No, Burger King never has been number one on this list. I don't even know if Burger (laughs) King's ever made the top 10 on this list, Um, but they put it out every year and every single year, year in and year out, you know who wins? Yeah, they win every single year but this is huge because this is the first time in a really long time they didn't win they're not number one anymore oh my gosh stop. you want to take a guess at who dethroned them because i bet you get it well, wrong i'll give you burger king because you said that's not even the top 10 i don't it might be i didn't look it down okay now give burger me king. a clue like burger let's... king is not on the list um i'm not giving you a clue but I, what i'll let you do is oh. i'll let you have i'll let you have three guesses and oh, i'll bet you what is number I'll bet one you, Yes, I'll bet you five dollars that in your three guesses you don't get it. Okay, hold on. Is that so a bet or me, not? No, that's yes, that's, that's all right. Five dollars. Um, and this is a Time magazine. USA that, Today. USA Today. Okay, so if I'm going off of service, um, it's all the things combined. The food too. Okay, hold on. If I'm going off of service and the food. See, that's what's hard is like, I love Burger King's food. <laughs> Burger I, King is not in the top 10. I that's know, what, Sean. I'm Don't it. use that as a guess because that's wrong. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't be Googling shit either. That's cheating. No, no, I'm not. What would you pick? I can't. That, that's another clue. You only get one clue. Just make your three guesses so we can move on with our lives. Okay. Um, is it the in and out? That's a good guess. That's what I would have guessed. It's not. It's not. Okay. No, strike is one. It... Oh. Okay. Hold on. Is why is this so hard? It's not McDonald's. It's not McDonald's. Let's see. Did McDonald's? McDonald's did not make the top ten. Didn't even make the no shit. Nope. I think McDonald's is royalty. Isn't that like the original one? Yeah, but their service and like everything about McDonald's just sucks. Okay, so is it? I'm gonna think off. Is it something that we have around where I'm at? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, we have these. Is it? Oh God! And it's something I would never guess. You think? No, you wouldn't guess it. That's so. Just throw out a thing because so we. Is can it move Del Taco? Down. Oh shit! You guess it. I owe you five dollars. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> No, I didn't. I was thinking. There's no of, way you would guess that. Sean, I guessed it. I don't want your five dollars. 
I'm telling I'm you. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna Venmo it to you right now because a bet's a bet, and I am thoroughly impressed that you guessed that because I no, would have never guessed that. it. Don't I'm not allowed to have that. Del Taco, as a matter of fact, because this was ten years ago. We were on our way to a Red Rock show. Shannon and I were, and we stopped and we got some Del Taco. It was new to our area. We had never had it before. It had just come. And we stopped and we were so excited because it's a Mexican place. And this is before Taco Bell had French fries and Del Taco has French fries. And yeah. so it's French fries and tacos. And this was a, oh, was, I was so excited. And before we even got to Red Rocks, we, an hour drive. You had diarrhea. Both of them, dude, in like bad news. It was bad news. Shannon was sick for days. I got it all out quick, I guess, but it fucked us up. And so have you ever eaten there back. again? She, I would go back. I'm not scared. I, I realize that sometimes somebody accidentally t- like itches their butthole and then touches your taco meat and you're going to get sick. It's not going to happen every time. So I would go back. She won't. She won't so, go back. That's the... What's the entire list? Like, it's yeah, I'll ten. give it. Do you eat a Del Taco though? Are you surprised? You must not be as surprised I as I am by this. Del Taco, but I wouldn't say it's anything I'm writing home about. I mean, it's it's nothing. I I'm shocked, and I know that it trends at number one. But Chick Fil A, I mean, that is like Jesus food. That's the Lord's chicken. It is the Lord's chicken, but that doesn't give you a pass to number one. I That's wonder what they true. screwed up because they don't Chick Fil A doesn't screw up anything. Like they're on their game at all times. And they didn't put my sandwich in the bag. And I was, I was so shocked. I almost ran off the fucking road. I was like, Chick-fil-A got this wrong. And then I went back around through the drive-thru and I was super nice because they're like little angel children that work those drive-thrus. Like where are we finding all these good kids, you know, because you go to some fast food rest. There are some that I can think of that I do still frequent but i can't look while they're making it because i'm like i can't look you don't look like you wash your hands very often i really want to eat that food so i'm just going to close my eyes and pretend that this is coming from like a pristine and the dude in front of me uh leaning against the wall smoking his marlboro red isn't the one that's going to come in and prepare it you know, and so Chick Fil A doesn't have that. No, oh, you know they have strict protocols. Like you wash your hands every fifteen minutes. You say my and pleasure. I think they, yeah, it, yeah. It's all. It, I, that's why I'm surprised that it's not number one. I, I, it's boring as it is that it comes out every year and it's number one. Like it kind of deserves it. I think the only reason that maybe it's not number one anymore is because it has gotten expensive. Actually, earlier today, because I was on vacation last week and then I had double wide shows all weekend, I didn't have time to go grocery shopping. So the kids didn't have food today. And so I told them I would order them food and I ordered them Chick-fil-A. Three kids. It was $45. Yes. Did you you door dash it? No, you can order Chick-fil-A. They have their own delivery service so they don't jack the prices up. That's their actual prices. Oh, I didn't know that. You With a $5 tip. So it's $40 with a $5 tip. $45 $45 for three kids to eat Chick-fil-A. That, so that's got to be the reason that it's like not number one anymore. And Del Taco certainly is in $45. All right. Full list. Number 10 is Arby's. I love Arby's. <laughs> Go. And we don't eat Arby's very often either. I know. It, we don't. We it, don't either. I like it. I would eat it more often. And they always have good deals. It's like two for five roast beef sandwiches, but no one in the family likes the roast beef sandwiches. They go there and they order fucking hamburger or ham and cheese or something. You go to Arby's for roast beef. Sounds like get out of the car. (laughs) Uh, Number nine. I don't think we have these in our area. Zaxby's. I don't even know. I've never even heard of that. I've heard of it. Zaxby's. I've heard of it. I don't think we have them. Eight is Popeyes. I hate Popeyes. It's gross. It's so greasy. Popeyes. Oh, I think I've only had that like once or twice. But yeah, not not a fan. Greasiest fast food there is, in my opinion. Number seven is Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. I know. I really am like a college kid, and I need to get my shit together because I'm getting too old for this. I'm going to die. Go ahead. Probably. Uh, number six. I've seen these around where I live down in in the southern part of colorado i don't know if you have them up north captain d's it's seafood it's like the modern day version of um long john silvers but I love long john Silver. i've never gone to captain d's but i might have to now there's never anyone in the drive through so i thought it was shit but it's number six on this list so i have to try it okay 
But All maybe right, there's okay. no one at that drive through because it is shit. Just because a franchise is winning awards doesn't mean each individual one is very good. Maybe the one in your town isn't very good. That that's true. You make good you can make good points. Number Thank five you. is Hardee's. We don't have those anymore around us. I know. Didn't they all just change to Carl Jr. because yeah. they're in the same family as a company? Yes. Um, but Hardee's also had roast beef sandwiches. It was like Arby's too. And Carl Jr. doesn't have roast beef. We used to actually when I was really little, we lived where our back porch uh was against a Hardee's. <laughs> and we lived this Hardee's. We knew everyone that worked there. But the best part is we lived in a tiny one bedroom house. And so every day my dad would drink his coffee and get his paper and he'd walk to the Hardee's. Well, that's right. He always pooped there. You told me that. <laughs> Why would I ever told you that? Why does this keep coming? Up? <laughs> you have told him you've told the story that your dad used the Hardee's to poop every day. Uh number four is in and out. That was a guess yeah. that you had at number one. Which Three. I recently had in and out, and it's okay, everybody. It's okay. If you go up the street a little bit, you're going to find a Burger King looks abandoned. It's still <laughs> working. It's, just go through because you're, I think, I thought, I think Burger King is better than in and out. That's a bullshit. That, no, that's they the just have that thing you've ever said. Sauce. Sean, they have the secret sauce. That's all they have. I don't secret. like sauce. I hate secret sauce. I get a burger with nothing but burger and cheese. And to me, in and out I mean this. It's the it's the best fast food burger. I, it's the best one. It, but it's I'm not so guys. good. It's not so good that I'm going to wait in an hour long line to get it. I'll yeah. go to Burger King and eat the shit burger first so I don't have to wait. But in and outs way better, for sure. <laughs> okay, what's next? Yeah. Number two is maybe more surprising than number one, in my opinion, especially based on an episode we had a couple of weeks ago. KFC. Oh, <laughs> this is why most pretty much chicken places have been ruined for me because I grew up with all those spices and seasonings and the <laughs> colonel telling me like it's indoctored in my brain because I grew up in that era where it was OK for a dude to dress as a colonel and to hawk chicken. He was uh, a colonel. For real in real life? Why else would he dress like that and act like that? Because, never mind, Sean. What I'm telling <laughs> you is I grew up with such good, fond memories. of. I love KFC. I got to stop talking about this shit because it's heartbreaking. It's like I got dumped by somebody because I can't trust them with my heart anymore. And so no KFC, because I'm thinking if they're not getting the orders right, they're probably not washing their hands very well. You're, you make, that's a really good point too. Number one, obviously, is Del Taco. We got to end this episode, but before we end the episode, there's some people who listen to this podcast every day and they're probably wondering what I'm wondering right now. So you got to tell, like, give us a quick update before you end on your KFC drama. So no, Sadie was, Sadie didn't get chicken on a DoorDash order of $150 from KFC and there was drama and trying to get your money back. Did you get it or not? Uh, uh, never got it back. That's why I Did said, you call it. the bank. Uh, I think Ryan was going to do it, but I guess I haven't checked with him on it. It's kind of since then we got hacked. And so we, had to get <laughs> Again. A, we had to get a new card and Ryan's like, you have to stop with Timu. And I'm like, I can't stop. And he's like, we have, we've had to get like three different debit cards and change the number. And so we were kind of dealing with that and uh, it's just been a mess. So we haven't looked. And then, and now I'm like, I think it's been too long. It's been like probably. three weeks. So they're probably going to be like, what? That's weird. And so I just think it's a big L and I, again, you live and you learn not to trust and who to open your heart to. And KFC was once, my lady, she dumped me. Um, let's also, before we say goodbye, thank our friends uh, at Casey's Pest Control Services. Go to caseyspestcontrolservices.com. You know what's driving me fucking nuts right now? Uh, mosquitoes. mosquitoes. I am disgust. I'm like a mosquito magnet. I'm. It's disgusting. And so I'm going to call Casey to come out and see if he can help me so I can actually enjoy the backyard, you know, the patio and have a have a nice little hangout session. I can't do that now. Well, that's good of you. And Casey also sponsors our pet of the week. And you have one, I'm assuming. I do. It is the prettiest dog I think I've ever seen. If you're watching this, 
again on our YouTube channel or Facebook page, then you can see the dog. I'll put a picture up right now. If you are not watching it, just go on to our social media. This is the prettiest dog. Her eyes are so beautiful. And so, yes, thank you to Casey. And if you want more info on maybe you want to adopt this beautiful dog, all you have to do is, again, go to our social media pages where I've posted all the info. And this could be your new your new dog. That's real cool. Mm-hmm. All right. I have See to pee. Later. Goodbye. You guys can tell. <laughs> I'm like, I've You're learned. Like dancing. Boone, I, I, Boone holds himself when he has to pee. And now I've like caught the thing. And so I've been, I've had You've a grip. Your, your junk? Yeah, and it doesn't help. I still have to pee. I don't know why I'm doing it. So co- goodbye. Goodbye.